Hi guys, Barmy for Spurred on outside a very frustrated Y Art Lane. It finished Tottenham Hotspur 1, Leicester City 1. A lot of uh, angst out here tonight. How do you feel about it? Um, it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? We had a great win against, against City. We've been, we struggled since. It's no, it's no coincidence that our, our forward play has slowed down a hell of a lot since we've lost Toby. Because um, for, the, for the fact that you've had to drop Dyer back into the back four, you've then had to drop Dembele out of the forward three into the back two in the midfield. And I think Dembele mostly plays in, in one of the two in front as the kind of pivot, doesn't he? But I prefer Dembele in that forward three just to hold the ball in front of the edge, of the, in, on the edge of the box, whip, you know, okay. pulls them out of play. And, you know, you got Rose today, superb, um, until his mistake for the goal, Wanyama yeah. uh, and, and probably Ali. Um, unfortunately, as we said during the game, Ericsson has way, way too many games of look, five out of ten, six out of ten. He don't take the game by the scruff of the neck enough. And I'm not, I'm not slagging him. I don't like. I'm not moaning about like that. But he, he's just got to start stepping up to the plate a little bit more because when we're on, when we're on the back foot, he sort of just goes hiding. Oh, he don't even win the simple 50-50 headers. He just his corners. He just can't beat the first man. And it's so so frustrating. And, and and again, it just comes from the build-up play. We're not pressing them high enough up the pitch. All right, and how much How much do you think, obviously you talked about missing Toby, and I think you're right in the fact that also his, his cross-field balls, his diagonal balls are absolutely top-notch for us, but how much, as well as him, are we missing Harry Kane? Oh, oh absolutely. It's so like I said, if, if, you, if you went to any, any of the top clubs in the Premiership and you wanted to take out two or three of their best players, yeah. you know, out of here, out and, and Kane, yeah. you know, golden boot winner yeah. and, and player of the year last year. Yeah. So, you know, we've been unlucky in that respect. Um, we have strength. So, so important, important while they've been out that we haven't lost any games? Vital. I mean, like you said, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, we would have lost games like that. Yeah. You could see the last 20 minutes, there was only really one team that was going to win it, and that was Leicester, unfortunately. But you've got to take a plus from it. Like you said, again, all right, people say, oh, yeah, we still haven't lost. We haven't. You've got to keep pick, still pick up points. It yeah. don't matter what you do. Teams will always lose one, win one. Got to keep picking up points. We've just got to start getting that build-up play back to where it was. Probably missed Lamella a little bit as well at times today. Because he does, you know, he is a walking, talking yellow card, but he's, he presses teams high, yeah. high, high, and he doesn't give them any time on the ball. He's got a good final ball about him as well. We missed that, that kind of final threaded three ball. Delhi and Christian were trying it a few times. Leicester are frustrating to play against though, aren't they? They know exactly what they're doing. They know their job. They're not ashamed of it. Yeah. And uh, it's just what feels odd to me is um, Leicester. I think that's maybe even their first point they picked up away. Probably but is. that seemed like the first time I've seen them play like they did last year. Whereas, and, and typically it's against us. They suck you into their into their way. They, in the end, we were doing exactly what they wanted us to do, and we were just hitting the ball long, hopeful. They just pick it up, they thread it, and then they hit you quickly on pay, with pace. Yeah. And and that's another thing we miss with Toby when he's mopping things up round the back. Um, you just I'm not saying Dyer's slow in any way, shape, or form, but he's, he doesn't read the game quite like Toby does, and, and he's not sweeping up behind Jan. And the two of them are a little bit too similar at times. I prefer Dyer in that defensive two. And if it, maybe we should have started Winks today and played Winks with Wanyama and maybe pushed Dembele on, maybe, maybe dropped Ericsson, or you know. But I, I just I'd rather see Dembele in that forward three, just pressing them high, pressing yeah. them. High. It's a little bit like England. England's so frustrating, build up play really is really slow, and I think that's quite similar to to where, where we've ended up in the last three or four games. Yeah, I, and I don't think it's any coincidence that really in those games we're playing against teams who've put kind of 10 men behind the ball and so it tends to be slow because they're you know there are walls in front of them and you got, all they can see is blue shirts. Just to, to mention one last thing before we go about Ericsson, I really feel he's suffering because he hasn't scored a goal for a while and I think when he gets a goal, he hasn't scored a free kick since Swansea last year, when he gets a goal I think it's a I, I do think yeah. even the best players suffer from confidence issues sometimes and I think that's probably what it is with him. He had a couple of decent free kicks today didn't he, not, yeah. not that far away. Like you said, just saving it for the derby. Yeah, well, let's hope so. I mean, like you said, like you said to the last lad. I mean, we do play better against better sides. Teams, Arsenal and Chelsea, are going to be expected to come at us. Yeah. Expected to come at us, and they'll come out. As we said, like I said after the, the um, Sunderland game and that, we, we, got, we haven't got any flair anymore. It's when we do struggle. And we've said it all season so far. We do struggle when teams come here and sit ten yeah. men behind the ball. We struggle to break them down. We rely on our fullbacks. Rose today, I thought. I thought Rose and Walker were outstanding today. Yeah. Rose Walker, um, I thought Delhi had, he, he was the only little spark in that forward three, Delhi, that was a couple of free, oh, lovely little, that, that um, free kick he won right on the edge yeah. of the box, yeah. you know. Um, and Delhi, and Wanyama, besides the mistake for the goal, I thought Wanyama had a good game. 
Uh, and he's been brilliant for the last three or four weeks. Wanyama, he's been, he's yeah. been since the City game. He's really, really come on a lot, yeah. lot more than the, the other two new signings. To me, it just showed a little bit of after half time lack of concentration. That was kind of yeah. what went wrong. Anyway, mate, thanks so much. Really good words there. Let us know what you think in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Cheers, mate.